Constable Cheyenne Francis hails from St. Thomas. And the sharpshooter did Jamaica and the Jamaica Constabulary Force proud when she copped goal in the carry optics division at the Florida State Championship. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this I'm morning? I'm doing good, thank Talk you. Talk to me, Shan. What is the carry optics division? Or what is the Florida State Championship? <laughs> All right, it's a championship within um, Florida that shooters from all over the country, other shooters from other countries participate in. Mm -hmm. So, and carry optics is a division okay. within the sport. Within the sport. So yes. tell me what, 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 what does the carry optics entail? All right, the firearm that I use, um, it will consider a carry optics firearm. And what would differentiate it from the others, because you have other firearms like the race guns that are um, modified for that division. Mm -hmm. So my firearm was modified specifically for that division. For the carry optics? Yes. Okay. You have to qualify to get there or you just enter? You enter. Okay. Well, for that particular match, because oh. you have some that you definitely have to qualify for. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me now, mm -hmm. in terms of competition, what was it like for you? How many people entered? How many rounds? What did you have to do? <laughs> All right, so the match consists of over 285 shooters, wow. and that's spread across with different divisions. And for my division, um, I'm competing with the ladies. Mm -hmm. So when I got there, the competition itself, um, I was a bit nervous <laughs> because, you know, you're competing with the Americans, the ones that call themselves the great ones. <laughs> but when I got there, I went there with one aim and it's to ensure that I win. Wow. Well, your aim, I'm looking at the screen, wow. your aim is not off at wow. all. Wow. Yes. Your aim, you know. <laughs> wow. Yes. What, Harris? And it seems like it's a timed event as well. Yes. So the sport, it is accuracy time and power factor. Uh -huh. So you have to be fast, accurate with the weapon that you are using. So the power factor would cover, for example, I'm using a 9mm pistol mm -hmm. and you have people shooting like a 40 caliber pistol. Mm -hmm. And the difference is like the recoil. Mm -hmm. The 9mm would have mm -hmm. a lighter recoil. Mm -hmm. the and the scoring, the yes, okay. nice. I watch a lot of shooting shows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the scoring for the heavier ones, which is major, on the scoring board, you would see like the middle section, which mm -hmm. is the alpha zone. So for the major ones, they get like a five to a five, four and two. With me now, I'm shooting minor, which is the nine mm, I would get like a five, three, one. So the major is at an advantage. However, the recoil is heavier, mm -hmm. kick more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Is when you start, both go on, please, and thanks. And what, I mean, many of us running, the, as ladies especially, run in the opposite direction. Oh, yes. You are a police officer, which means you, yes. you're not scared of the weapon at all. Well, I was you, initially. You were. Yes. You were. Yes. And um, the introduction was in training, because, you know, you have to do firearm training for the JCF. But the introduction to practical pistol was for the JCF SWAT Roundup competition. I don't know how I got there, <laughs> because, as I said, I was scared of guns. Mm -hmm. But... At the time, I was just looking at the excitement for SWAT Roundup as it relates to the obstacle course. That's what got me excited. But then that um, comprises of the firearm. So I got more comfortable to start doing it more and more. So you get this when you just start. This is when you just start. You hold the firearm up. Yes. Shea, that never looked so good. Oh, I don't know. It was. I was scared of it. That looked like when you use your finger and say, Pai, Pai. That's how it looked up. But, oh, yes. I'm afraid of going and you're going into the police force. Uh, I don't understand that, Shea. I don't. Talk me through that mindset. <laughs> All right, we don't use slingshot, we don't use baton again. <laughs> I know, but back in 2017, I was working at the Morant Bay Police Station as a civilian. Oh. JCF ah. had a recruitment drive, mm. and I just jumped on the opportunity. Okay. Wow. I wasn't worried about it. I know I had to do it, but mm -hmm. I mean, this is a great opportunity mm -hmm. for a career. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I just run along with it. Bye, but, but Shan, and, and you know, people <laughs> think that women in the JCF, they don't, they get like a special treatment, but I'm seeing you in the mud, 
I'm seeing you in the that look like a swamp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm I like, girl, <laughs> what are you doing? See the shade. Oh oh my my God. What is this? Look on the face. What is this I signed up for? It was <laughs> tough. It was it tough. It was yes, it was rough. Yeah. And coming from like country, you say, all right, I'm a country girl. So I'm used to this. It. When I got there, whoop, them slapped me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it was but rough. You're better but for it. I I went there with the mindset that you have to do it. Yeah. So regardless of the circumstances, you must do it. Yeah. Why? I like that in you, Shan, because I think that's the kind of attitude that got you to the top it is. of this. Because if there are over 200 and odd competitors from other countries, I mean, what made you so confident that, you know, I'm going to win this? I, I put in the training. Okay. And the truth is, when you train, you, you know how confident your shooting is. You know what you are capable of. And funny enough, when I got there, I don't know how this happened, the day before the match, my left big toe was swollen. I couldn't oh, walk. No Them get big foot. <laughs> I couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. That was like the day before the match. Mm. And on the morning of the competition, I said to myself, listen, you're here. You're going to do your best. And doing your best doesn't mean second or third. Mm -hmm. you no have weapon to that come form first. Oh no, but a weapon. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Harris, what yes. them give me food mean? <laughs> what I mean? Oh, I'm a Okay, off air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she ain't come from rural. So no, I'm here to put. So when we see you running here, you're running with the big sick toe? Yes. Come like the, the day before, I couldn't walk. Oh, no. And then the morning, I said to myself, listen, you have to do it. Mm. And when I went on the first um, stage and I heard that buzzer, I forgot to have a sick toe mm -hmm. until the end of the match when mm -hmm. I was hopping was to the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. It was saying, <laughs> when I was hopping to yeah. the vehicle. But what was the feedback when you won? Like when, when your, your colleagues and your friends heard that you were the winner, what did they say? Oh my God. From before we got the results, they started texting me, Jesus, I'm nervous. I'm there waiting to hear the result. And I'm there nervous as well because the truth is they, they are good. Mm -hmm. And... I'm there waiting and I remember when I checked the last time I saw that the US um, lady was ahead of me. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And she was like <laughs> less than a point ahead of me. And I'm like, so I came here Can't and somebody won me with over a point. point. But then I realized, I'm like, calm down. I realized my final score wasn't in. I'm like, okay, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when I saw the result, I'm like, Mm -hmm. I was calm. I felt yeah. at ease because I'm saying, yes, yeah. I did this for my country. Yes. And what did your colleagues say? What did your, your fellow JCF colleagues say? Oh, my God. Dr. Blake, um, he reached out to me because he has always been there from day one supporting. And he said, I am so proud of oh, you. I and I just smile. The other members of the JCF, the, men, um, the Jamaica Rifle Association, I, I have to give it to them because they were the ones who prepared me, mm -hmm. get me ready for the match. So I owed it all to them. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it is a great feeling. I'm still celebrating. Yeah, and this, has, this, has, this is bound to open up a lot of doors for you because your, the post so. has gone viral. <laughs> There are people who are looking for sharp, sharp shooters. And I'm here. You see that? <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't imagine the opportunities sharp, sharp, that can't. Eh? You're looking for a sharp, sharp? Me? Like, oh, I tell you so off the air. <laughs> Hello, home. yes. I mean, it could open up teaching opportunities. Correct. Close mm. body protection opportunities. Yes. There are all sorts of opportunities that can come yes. from this. Yes. Um, what has the feedback been like? They never mentioned your colleagues, but the general public. Um, you know, and, and people who are looking for somebody, a few good women, and they talk <laughs> about the army and the force as a few good men, but yes. women as well. The feedback, it has been great. Um, I persons reach out to me on social media and it just warms my heart because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm inspiring people, you know, by just shooting. Mm -hmm. And the good thing that I like about it, women reaching out to me, it may not um, have anything to do with shooting, but they see you as this role model. Yeah. And I'm happy I'm able to assist what it's giving advice, you know, encouraging them. So it's great. I mean, I'm looking forward to more opportunities. Oh, nice. 
Okay. Um, world shoot coming up next year mm -hmm. in South Africa. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm working towards that. So, of course, sponsorship, we, we yeah, welcome man. that. Um, please and thanks. <laughs> and we're going to get started. <laughs> world shoot. We, lo we love our advertisement in other paper. Please say congratulations, you see? Yes. Uh, that our budget, depending on you. Can you assist us to go? No, we cannot assist you. But when, when you win in the Jamaican colors, there's a big ad. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Split the ad money in a half. <laughs> um, so she can go. So you can congratulate correct, her. Correct. Correct. So how you feel about that time. weapon on your hip now? You were scared of it before. I'm comfortable You're with comfortable it. With it. Very comfortable you've because I know. It. Yeah, and I'm competent enough. So Be I'm good with it. Yes. Like a base <laughs> Beautiful, Shane. Yeah. Beautiful. You. Ah, nice, see? There you go. Soldier Bulgy. No more days of the pie, pie, pie. This girl got big things. <laughs> Thank you so much. All the best You're to you. You're most welcome. Thank There's you. There's a Girl Power Tuesday, so the theme is a the theme. Carrier Optics Division uh, winner at the Florida State Championship, Constable Shayon Francis. What's the one I'm watching her That's what happened when the recoil. I'm going to the news. I'm going to go on the news. Don't it? I'm going to kick you back. You know what kind of... If you don't mind... No, no, no.